Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Quick Freezes Game Room. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the awesome pickups that I acquired from a great, great yard sale that was held by a good friend of mine and a fellow YouTuber. So I figured I'd do a video, show the stuff off that I got, and kind of promote her channel as well. So uh, let's go ahead, let's get started, and let's see what I picked up. So before I go on, I just want to point out that I got all this stuff from a recent uh, garage sale by a fellow YouTuber, Mr. Ishbu, who is a very cool person, very down to earth. You know, she's funny, she's hilarious, just she's just an all around good person and a great YouTuber overall. And um, yeah, she recently had a garage sale, and I was just surfing Facebook, you know, just kind of killing some time, you know, doing whatever. And I saw, found that she was doing a garage sale, and she had some pretty good stuff from what I could tell. And um, I said, you know, I would definitely stop by if I knew your address. And she gave me her address, and I found out she only lives about maybe half an hour, th 35 minutes away. So I made the trip down there, and oh my god, I was just blown away by the stuff she had. And just like... Uh, I got I got to I got to get as much as I can. So, um yeah, I got all the stuff from her garage sale. Her and her husband was just selling the stuff. I don't know what for what reason, but she just had some really good stuff. So, and I got I think I got some pretty good deals on these. So, uh yeah, all the stuff was from Mrs. Ishbu. I will put a link to her channel down below. So, go check her out. She's a great YouTuber like I already said. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and just I'll show you what I got. I'm not going to do any video gameplay because I recently just picked these up and I haven't really like tried any of them out yet so but uh, a lot of them I have played in the past so uh, the first one I'm going to show you is the Simpsons uh, Bart's Nightmare this is a great great uh, Super Nintendo game I used to rent this game all the time uh, on weekends and basically what this is is Bart kind of like goes to sleep and has this nightmare and he has different nightmares. He has like a nightmare where he's like a baby, uh, one where he's like kind of like playing this Godzilla role, another one where uh, he's in an itchy and scratchy cartoon. So it's kind of like a game. Um, it's kind of like a game of like mini games, almost a little bit. But you have to you have to kind of like stay asleep by collecting Z's. And with that, it kind of reminds me of like Nightmare on Elm Street for the original Nintendo in a way, where you have to kind of like. Um, well, in that game, you had to stay uh, stay awake, I think. And this one, you have to kind of stay asleep. So, But the, yeah, this was a fun game when I was a kid. I used to rent this game all the time. Okay, the next one I got up is I got Championship Pool for the Super Nintendo. Um, this one, I don't really know much about. Uh, I don't know what can I say. It's Pool. I kind of just picked this up because I don't have a pool game. So I, just, I figured this would be a, a nice pickup. So, Championship Pool. Uh, this one I got is WWF Super Wrestlemania. Now, uh, I don't really play that many wrestling games, and why I picked this up is just, I don't know, just kind of like one of those games where I just want an old school wrestling game where I could just pick old school wrestlers and just beat the crud out of like my, uh, my friends or my the computer opponent, just whatever. It's just, it's nice to have one of those just old retro uh, wrestling games, so. Uh, this one, again, I haven't played this one at all. This is uh, NHL Stanley Cup. Uh, I don't know much about this one. I just heard uh, the Stanley Cup is a pretty good game. So I haven't really tried it. I don't know anything about it except it's it's hockey. I don't really play that many sport games unless there's some sort of like kooky uh, mechanics to it. You know, something like NBA Jam or something like that. But yeah, I got NHL Stanley Cup. Just kind of picked this up for whatever reason. Now, for the Sega Genesis, I picked up Ariel, the Little Mermaid. Now, this one I picked up because I have the Little Mermaid for the original Nintendo, and I love that game. I absolutely do love the Little Mermaid for the original Nintendo made by Capcom. Great game. If you guys haven't played it, go pick it up. Uh, this one, 
uh, I don't know anything about it. I just picked it up based on my experience for the original Nintendo version of the game. So, yeah, I hope this is just as good. I hope this is just a great overall game. I know the Aladdin for the Sega Genesis was an amazing game, so I just hope that uh, The Little Mermaid is um, just as good. Okay, this one I got is uh, The Simpsons Virtual Bart. Uh, I don't, I have never played this one, and I really just kind of picked this up because uh, I just had the experience with uh, Bart's Nightmare for the Super Nintendo. So, and I've always liked Simpsons games. I, I, I've never played a bad Simpsons game. There are, there are bad Simpsons games, but I never really played any of them. So, um, yeah, I, you know, I couldn't go around just picking this up, so... Yeah, I got Virtual Bart for the Sega Genesis. Um, this one, I got Super Street Fighter 2 for the Sega Genesis. This is hands down my favorite version of uh, Street Fighter 2. You know, this is the one where it introduced T-Hawk, Cammy, Fei Long, and... Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, DJ. I'm sorry, DJ. And, uh, yeah, this is just, just absolutely my favorite version of uh, Street Fighter 2. I, either on the Super Nintendo or the Sega Genesis, and I just had to have this. I love Street Fighter 2. Uh, it's one of my favorite fighting games. You know, I think this is, the, like, the best Street Fighter game besides Street Fighter 4. I really like uh, that one as well, but Street Fighter 2, I just, this is the one that got me into Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2, and that was before when you, you could just pick uh, eight characters and then it include the bosses, and then you had this one that included four more characters. It was just... This is the version that I really, really like because you had so many characters, eight, four new characters that you had to learn. It's uh, just an amazing, amazing game. I love Super Street Fighter 2 for the Sega Genesis. And the next one I kind of picked up, I picked up a uh, Barbie Supermodel. And why I picked this up, I have no idea. I kind of picked this up as a joke. We, uh, Mrs. Ishbu and I were talking. <laughs> Uh, at her yard sale, and I'm like, you know what, I should pick this up and send it to uh, my good friend, Mr. Techno Squeak, who I do the podcast with, and, um, you know, just as a joke, I, like, I don't, I have no intention of really kind of playing this one, but, um, I don't know, now that I have it, I, I think I might just keep it, try it out, because she, uh, she did say it was a, a really good, uh, game, so I might actually pop this in and, and check out, uh, Barbie Supermodel, so... Okay, so the next thing I got was uh, this anime series uh, called Girl Bravo. And what this is, this is an anime series. Uh, from what I read, I've, I haven't watched it yet. It's actually been on my Netflix instant queue for the longest time, and I've just never got around to watch it. But uh, I saw this at uh, Mrs. Ishby's uh, yard sale, and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to pick this up, because if I pick it up, I'm definitely going to watch it. So, But this is Girl's Bravo, and what, from what I can remember from the... Uh, the show description off Netflix. This is about a a boy who gets tr uh, thrown or trapped in a world inhabited only by women, and he he's either like um, sought after, um, attacked, you know, just you know, girl, the girls go crazy for him. So it's you know, and just just looking at the different DVDs on the back of the case, it's just it looks like one of those crazy kooky. Uh, anime shows, and I don't know, like I said, this, is like, this was on my Netflix Instant queue just to kind of check out, and it was there at her yard, so I'm like, you know what, pick it up, it's a series of 24 episodes, so why not, I can't wait to uh, kind of sit down and just watch this, because I know, even if I don't like it, you know, it's just, it's another anime series, and I, and I do like anime, so. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is probably like the cream of the crop of uh, my pickup at uh, at her yard sale. And I never had this uh, video game system before. I've always kind of wanted it, but just never found it in the wild, never found a good price for it. And this is the Sega Master System, and it has a 2 next to it, so I think this is the Sega Master System Model 2 or Version 2 or whatever. So, But yeah, I, got, I finally picked up a Sega Master System, and... I don't really know much about the Sega Master System. I know it came before the Sega Genesis. And I just picked this up and was just like, you know what? Uh, why not? I don't have the system. Just pick it up. And I've heard good things about the Sega Master. It's a great system overall. Um, I have no experience with the Sega Master System whatsoever. Because I just, when I was young, I immediately got the Sega Genesis. I didn't even know this thing was um, 
ever made when I was a kid. I only found out uh, later when I you know grew up. But yeah, I got the Sega Master System version 2, and I got a whole lot of games for it, so uh, I'm going to show off the games to you right now. Alright, I got a huge lot of Sega Master System games with the system. And the first one I'm going to show you up is this one. This is F-16 Fighting Falcon, the Sega card. Um, again, I don't know anything about these Sega Master System games, so I can't really uh, tell if they're good or not. But they just came in one huge lot, so I said, why not? But uh, this one, uh, I don't really know what this is. It looks like a, kind of like a game like Top Gun on the original Nintendo. You know, it's like a flying simulator type of game. But this is a Sega card. I didn't know, if I just open this up, I didn't know uh, Sega did uh, cards like this. So it, this reminds me of the, the TurboGrafx-16 card. So um, I really don't have any way of playing this game because I don't have um, a Sega card adapter, component, whatever uh, you need to play these. But yeah, I just found this really weird that this game is a, is a card, you know, just like the TurboGrafx-16. So that, that's kind of weird to me. But yeah, that's cool. Maybe if I ever get, like, the component to actually play this uh, card, that'll be great. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is uh, Hang On and Astro Warrior. This is two games in one. Hang On is kind of like a uh, motorcycle uh, cruising, you know, the United States type of game. Something like Road Rash, but um, maybe you just don't beat people up like you do in Road Rash. And uh, Astro Warrior is a kind of like a spaceship shooter, something like um, our type Galaga, you know, something like those type of games, which I actually do enjoy, so I'll probably be playing more Astro Warrior than I will Hang On, because I don't, I'm not really into the, the motorcycle games, kind of like that. But yeah, two games in one, not bad. Okay, the next one I got up is An Anduro Racer. This is kind of like, it's another motorcycle game where you're kind of like, you're going off jumps, you're cruising through the desert, you're cruising through the landscape. Um, again, I know, I know nothing about this game, so I don't know if it's good or not. I'm just kind of going back from what I see on the, the back of the, bo the box here, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, it just looks like a cool uh, motorcycle uh, game. I see a couple jumps on the, the images zone. So, Enduro Racer. Now, next one is the one I really wanted to get when I saw this at the... Uh, at the yard sale. Now I already have this game for the original Nintendo and I just absolutely love this game on the original Nintendo. I could never beat it but I just loved it and that was Ghostbusters for the Sega Master System. Now anyone who's played the original Nintendo version knows what this is. You're going around catching ghosts, you're collecting uh, money to upgrade your equipment and then eventually you gotta take down the evil um, Zool in the game. This is based on the, the Ghostbusters movie and from what it's a good game it's a really good game on the original Nintendo I can never beat it. I can never get past the the stairway level where you gotta go up this up the stairs and get past the ghost I can never get past that but maybe for the Sega Master System give it a try and see if I can finally get past the stairs so yeah Ghostbusters this is the one that really caught my eye at the yard so okay next one up is Afterburner this is a kinda like a jet simulator where you're, you're going around and uh, doing different missions. Um, I'm not going to try to talk about this game because honestly I really know nothing about this game. You know from just going by the back of the box and just it's a jet game kind of like uh, Top Gun again for this original Nintendo. You know you're just flying around and I assume you do different missions so if this is a good game I have no idea. I've heard good things about Afterburner just I've never played it. I know nothing about it. Okay, the next one up is I got Global Defense, and this is a space shooter, kind of like, again, kind of like R-Type or, um, you know, Galaga, I guess, but it, more R-Type, I would say, where you're a spaceship and you're just shooting different things that come on the screen, collecting power-ups, all that different stuff, and I actually really, really enjoy those games. I really love the R-Type style games. Usually, for some reason, I'm just... I just find them enjoyable. They're really good, I, and I'm surprisingly good at them. I don't know why, but but yeah, I really love uh, those type of uh, games. And Global Defense looks just like um, our type in a way. Next one I got up is Alex Kid and Miracle World, and what this is, this is a platformer game, and starring Alex Kid. And if 
If I'm correct, Alex Kidd was kind of like the mascot of Sega before Sonic the Hedgehog came along. If if I'm wrong, please correct me. I'm just kind of assuming that. Um, yeah, Alex Kidd in Miracle World. I've heard a lot of people talk about Alex Kidd. You know, they like Alex Kidd. Alex Kidd is still around today if you get uh, Sonic uh, All-Stars Racing transformed. Alex Kidd is a driver in that, so, you know, he's not forgotten. He's a long-loved character uh, amongst Sega fans, so I'm actually look, really looking forward to playing this game because I've never played an Alex Kidd game before in my life, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a good game. Okay, the next one I got up is Altered Beast. Now, I first played this one in the arcade and then on the Sega Genesis, and pretty much everyone knows what Altered Beast is. You play a character, and you're beating up these different monsters, and you collect these different uh, three orbs, I believe. And once you get the three orbs, you transform into a beast, either like a bear or a flying dragon or a wolf, all that have uh, different powers. And basically, it's a side-scrolling mm, kind of venture beat-em-up type of a game. And it's just a great game. It's a short game, only has about maybe like four, four or five levels. And it's just a good game. You know, if you if you've never played Alter Beast at all in your entire life. Please go play Alter Beast because it's actually one of the greatest games on the Sega Genesis. And uh, ho I'm just hoping it's just as good on the Sega Master System. Okay, the next one up is I got Double Dragon. Again, another another great game. I originally played this on the, the original Nintendo, but it also was an arcade game. And again, if anyone who doesn't know what Double Dragon is, please please go go play some version of Double Dragon. It's an amazing game. You can get it anywhere. But Double Dragon, you're either playing as Billy or Jimmy Lee, and you're out to rescue your girlfriend who's been kidnapped by a bunch of thugs or gangsters. And it's just a great beat 'em up overall. One of my favorite, one of the first beat 'em ups games I ever played in my entire life. So, yeah, Double Dragon. I can't wait to play this version of Double Dragon. Okay, so the next series of video games I hear are all sport games, and I don't know anything about them except uh, what sport they are. Um, but they're all very similar. So uh, I got right here. I got great volleyball. What can I say? It's a, it's a volleyball. I got another one here called uh, great basketball. Again, what can I say? It's basketball. Uh, I got another one here called great baseball. And this one I got actually two copies of great football. <laughs> For all for the Sega Master System. So, yeah, uh, I don't know what to say about these games. They're just, they're sport games. Um, I don't know. I'll probably try them out for maybe five, ten minutes. I don't know. Just, like I said, I usually play sport games with some sort of, like, kooky concept to them where you got to, like, you know, jump as high as a mountain or your ball's on fire or you know, something crazy. But uh, these look like to be legitimate um, sport games where they're kind of being serious, you know. And that's okay, you know, I did play games uh, like this on the original Nintendo, like I played Bases Loaded, you know, I tra played uh, a couple football games on the original Nintendo like that, so the, there's nothing wrong with those types of games, so, but they're just not my forte, I guess I should say, so, but yeah, it's great, uh, great collection of sport games right off the bat for the Sega Master System. Okay, so that's it, that is all the pickups that I recently got from Mr. Ishbu's um, garage sale and I'd just like to thank her again. Thank her and her husband uh, Zach for uh, you know not just doing the garage sale but just giving me a great deal. Everything that I just showed you was sixty dollars. Flat out sixty dollars and I, I think I made out pretty damn good especially on the Sega Master System because I've never had one before and now I have at least 13 games for the Sega Master System that I can try. So, again, uh, Mr. Ishbu, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Uh, thank your husband, Zach, for me as well. Um, you gave me a great deal on all these video games, and including the, the anime as well. So, um, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I just want to end by saying I'm Quick Freeze from Quick Freeze Game Room, and I'm here to bring gamers together one game at a time. Later, guys.